Hi, my name is David and in today's video I'm going to show you how to personalize snapback caps using Ghost White Toner and the Laser Dark A foil and B paper. We all love them, they are very cool, um, very fun to wear um, and fun to have with all different kinds of designs, snapback caps. Um, Ghost White Toner is the perfect solution for single, small scale um, production of personalized items of any kind, also cappies and snapbacks. For the customization of the cap, I'm going to use the Ghost White Toner cartridge, the Laser Dark A foil, and the Laser Dark B paper. The first step is to insert the white toner into your HP LaserJet printer in the spot of the black toner. So I take the black toner cartridge out, I insert the white toner cartridge, push back the toner cartridge tray, close the printer. The printer automatically calibrates itself and the system is also self-cleaning. For you as a user this means you don't have to undertake any cleaning and you don't have any contamination when you switch between black and white toner. In the next step I'm going to insert the A-foil. The A-foil is a sensitive coated foil um, which is very sensitive to scratches so make sure that it is free of any scratches. I open the paper tray and I insert the A-foil with the mud side facing up. Make sure it aligns well and I close the paper tray. On the screen I have my design prepared in InDesign. I'm using a bold lettering just on the cap over there. Um, I'm going to print my design using the mirror image mode so that the image is flipped horizontally because I'm doing a two-step transfer process and I'm going to set the printer to grayscale printing as I want my design to be fully printed in white. For the paper setting I'm choosing opaque film which is known as the best setting for using the A-foil. Once I've put my settings in the driver, I hit the print button and go. With Ghost White Toner, printing is really easy. It's just Control P and everything black on the screen will be printed in white. Um, you can check our other videos on the channel how to print multiple colors and white in one run or using a two-pass process for complicated designs where you also need black as a color in your design. Once your design is printed, you can compare it to the screen to see um, that you have everything black and white. Cool. The B paper can be easily recognized by the yellow lines on the back. I'm going to place the A foil on the heat press, on the lower plate of my heat press. Before I do that, I make sure that the lower plate is really hot so um, that I get a good and nice transfer. I do this um, with the printed side facing up and I cover it with the A-foil, folding the edge slightly so that I can easier grab it for the peeling process. I'm going to cover these two with a few sheets of regular um, A4, A3 copy paper just to have a better heat and pressure distribution. I close the heat press and we're pressing with 160 degrees um, for two minutes or with 320 degrees Fahrenheit for two minutes. Um, while marrying these two papers together through heat and pressure, the glue, which is like an adhesive from the B paper, sticks to the print, to the toner on the A-foil. And this will help us to transfer the design to multiple materials. Using laser dark A-foil and B paper in combination with ghost white toner enables you to print um, on many dark colored and light surfaces, just like these items down here. You can print onto, for example, a felt bag. You can print onto a light drawstring cotton bag. You can print onto dark cotton shopping bags. Or, of course, onto any um, kinds of t-shirts. With Ghost White Toner, it is no problem to personalize um, cotton bags as well as polyester um, fabrics or mixed fabrics between nylon, polyester and everything. The material is really flexible when it comes to the pressing temperature. You can basically personalize anything which can sustain a temperature from 120 degrees Celsius up to um, 160 degrees Celsius. That means you can in fact print on a silk tie if you like. Once the time is up, I'm going to separate the A and the B um, papers by smoothly peeling um, the B paper of the A foil. Um, 
After this, we can apply it to our cap using a cap press, which is a special press with a rounded press head. All items made with Ghost White Toner um, have a very durable lifetime and are washable. Um, for a cotton t-shirt, for example, the washability is between 35 up to 45 wash it when you wash it inside out um, and hang it to dry. Right, time's up. I'm going to take away um, my copy paper I'm using a kitchen cloth to give it a quick wipe so that the heat comes off evenly from the two papers. I'm putting my thumb down here and I'm constantly peeling um, the B paper off the A foil and you can already see that the glue from the B paper is sticking to the toner on the A foil. That's just what happened. As you can see, um, the glue completely took off from the uh, B paper and is now on the back side of the print. You can feel this, it's really sticky. Cool. Before I attach the design um, to my cap, um, I'm going to quickly trim the edge and cut out my design. This can be important um, not only to place the design on the small front of the cap, but also to remove some excess glue on the edges of my paper. I'm putting the cap on the cap press, making sure it sits really nicely on the bottom part. Most cap presses have like something uh, to apply some pressure on the bottom, which you can release so that the cap is really nicely fitted. I'm giving the cap a quick pre-press um, to preheat um, uh, the garment. Just five to 10 seconds. As this is not a 100% cotton cap, I'm pressing on 133 degrees Celsius. I'm going to take my design and place it on the cap, making sure that it is aligned in the way I want it to be. I'm going to cover this with a sheet of silicon paper and then I'm going to close my cap press. We're pressing for 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, once time is up, I open my cap press, remove the silicon paper, release the pressure on the bottom part and take off the cap. As usual, the design has to completely cool down before we can peel the A4, but you can already guess that it will be looking really nicely in the end. I leave it to rest here for a while to completely cool down. In the meantime, I would love to give you some information on other things that you can do with Ghost White Toner. Besides the personalization of soft surfaces, like all kinds of garment and cloth, you can also use a media called Multitrans um, to personalize all kinds of hard uh, surface items, just like coffee mugs, stoneware bottles and glassware. Check out our other videos to see how this is done. If you have any ideas for videos you would like to see in the future, we are happy to read your comments below and um, to follow that up. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email us support at ghost-white-toner.com. We're happy to help you with any question. Once the design is completely cold, we can peel it off. I'm using, as usually, an even workspace, um, but this is a kind of a complicated peel because we have to be really careful not to peel too quickly. I'm folding the edge to make sure um, that I start at the most massive part of the design, so not here, but there. Then I quickly and smoothly roll over the design, and as you can see, um, the peel comes up really, really nicely. All right, as you can see, we get another very clean transfer uh, with a little seam here in the edge, but this will be corrected once we do the finish press. The design still is a little bit shiny, but this can be removed by giving it a quick finish press on the cap press using a silicone paper. For the finish pressing, we suggest to use a straight silicone paper, which will give you a nice matte finish. Um, uh, if you want to have a shiny finish, um, there's a shiny finish paper available as well. Make sure the cap is in your heat press and well aligned. Cover it with some silicon paper, put down the heat press. This time we're giving it a 
quick repressing for just five to 10 seconds as a cap is not an item that is regularly washed. It's not that important, but we want to have a matte finish anyways. Right, after the finished pressing, we carefully remove the B paper, release the cap press. And as you can see, we have a very nice print, very cool design. I'm going to wear this for you now. Um, so if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up below. Thank you very much for watching. Check the description for all the detailed steps and the materials that I've been using. Leave us comments, make sure you follow our channel for future videos and see you next time. Cheers.